as dawning games here. And so, we actually did a clan war, and I'm sorry I did not keep you guys posted on this. Um, but we basically clutched it at the end. That's all I can say about this. So, we're going to look at the war event. So, basically, you're going to see a lot of green towards the top, a lot of red towards the bottom. They just instantly got ta we just got taken out and taken out. We had a couple attacks. Me and this guy only got both got one star. One stars. And so we're just keep going through and just defeat, defeat, defeat all this red, all this red. And then all of a sudden, when it hit about twenty hours into the war, and there was only four hours left. All of a sudden it got like it just flipped out. Look at all this green at the top and somehow we clutched it and got the 33 stars to 30. So basically that means that now our war log three wins in a row. So we are pretty good. <laughs> We're doing pretty good guys. So the past couple wins have been over by over 10 stars. This one we clutched it at the end by an extra three. So nothing to brag about, but it kind of is in the same way. Um, there's a new base I got here, guys. It's the Southern Teaser. So I have traps laid out, like, basically, because if you try to take giants from this side over here and try to take out this cannon, since there is an open spot, they're going to go for this cannon. So that means that they're going to hit that spring trap, and I'm going to hopefully knock out a couple giants. Did the same thing over here to try to grab a couple giants. Did not do any spring traps or anything back over here, guys. Just simply, if they're trying to get that, they're going to have to break through this wall to get to this wall. But uh, they're not going to have to break through as many walls. Which is going to be for real. This is a pain zone for any offense. Because you got mortar. mortar. So the mortars are hitting the... With spl hitting the giants with splash damage. You have wizard towers hitting them with splash damage. You have splash damage everywhere, guys. So, that was basically my goal for this setup. Um, at the top here, it's more of an archer setup. I have cannons on the side, but I mean, I don't really like cannons on the inside. So that's why I have them, like, baited on the outside. Um, same with that one. But Archer Towers, Wizard Towers, and Mortars, I got them more in towards the base. And, um, Air Defenses. And I kept my Clan Castle centralized, so... That way, I don't have to worry about them just taking my Clan Castle troops right away. Um... We do have some loot in here. How much loot we got. I'm going to let that sit in there, guys. I know you guys might think it's stupid, but I don't want to collect it. And then people raid me because I got a ton of loot. Because I am upgrading my wall breakers. So I'd rather just save that and then grab all the resources out of it. When, say, I might need enough elixir to upgrade my wizards. Or something. Or my dragons. I'm just going to leave that in there. So, yeah. Um, in the comment section below, tell me what you think of my new base. If you have any tips for it. And also, if you play Clash of Clans, please join Dawning Games. We do probably two wars a week. <laughs> so, if you guys want a decent war clan, we are 3-0 and right now. Didn't mean to do that. We are 3-0. and and, we want, and we're hoping to get better. So please comment and subscribe down below. And like the video. And have a nice day.